So that was another cold read, please forgive the low budget editing. Um, for those that don't know what a cold read is, it's fairly simple. I basically say everything out loud, I think as a VC and as an angel investor, uh, to a deck I've never seen before, in the hope that founders get a sense of what an investor might think when they see your deck, but would never, ever tell you. I'll react exactly as I would if I were evaluating this for real. Who knows? I might be, but yeah, my goals to be helpful. Okay, here we go. Heist. Grooming tech for tomorrow's man. The world's first hair dryer and styling kit for men. Okay, well, as you can see from my appearance, I am not the target customer. But, um... <laughs> Let's have a look. Okay. Um, interesting, interesting. Uh, immediately what's going through my head is, huh, um, the kind of, the, the gender separation of products like this, are they, are they gonna, are they gonna be around for a few years? I don't know. I don't know. Um, open question. Okay, here we go. So I want to see if there's a market. All right, just 50% of male hair dryer users actually own a device. But then if their partner has one, why do they need one? Uh, 342 million men use a hair dryer globally. Now, that to me doesn't necessarily speak to there being a problem. It possibly speaks to people sharing. But let's come on. Men are not represented by brands available today. Completely, completely agree. 80% um, of men prefer male-centric products. All right, the first thought that's going through my mind is that this is a good deck so far because I'm, I'm getting headlines and I'm getting things that support a headline without there being essays. It's quite visually appealing. Um, I'm following it quite well. And then at the bottom, there's sources provided. And that's, that gives me confidence. Okay, I'm going to carry on. I also see there's only 13 slides, so I'm going to read this at the pace that I assume the founder intended. Um, the industry failed to recognise and meet the growing demand from men. Now that I don't know if I believe, and the reason being, we have these enormous brands from the L'Oreal's to the Dysons um, that will do market research every week. Every week they'll commission tens of thousands of pounds, if not hundreds of thousands of pounds, in trying to stay ahead of market trends. So I would be surprised if that's true. In fact, I don't believe it. Uh, okay, British, G ah, British GQ's number one hairdryer made for men. That's a fucking bold claim. Do you know what I do now? I want to see if this is a link. It's not a link. That's annoying. And all of a sudden, we don't have anything that validates that statement. British GQ's number one hairdryer made for men. Where is this? So, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to open the tab. GQ hair dryer for men. Let's see what happens. British GQ, best hair dryer for men. Uh-oh! I don't see Heist. Is Heist on here? We've got Babyliss, Dyson, Remington. Ah! Ah! What the fuck? Whoa! Shit the bed! What a claim! A claim's been backed up. I'm taking them in. Like, that's what it takes. That's all it takes. They've made an incredibly bold claim. I didn't believe it. I went and checked it. It's true. I just, I would, I would meet them just for that. Just for that. I'm gonna carry on just for completeness. But this is the point where I'd say, as an angel investor, sorry. As an angel investor, I would say, yeah. Wow, wow, you've done well. Let me learn more. I don't need to read your deck. I just want a conversation. I just want to learn some more. Um, this comes with all kinds of issues I'm aware of with hardware or product-based companies, you know, from manufacturer to demands to you know, financing to returns to retail. I mean, there's so many issues, but this immediately smells like if this was on Dragon's Den, it'd probably get some money. Okay, here we go. Do they have sales? Let's have a look. Enhanced with high slabs, fine. Makes sense. Yep, it makes sense. Harry's Manscaped War Paint Heist. All part of our mission to redefine and dominate men's hair. I mean, fine, yeah, there isn't a dominant male hair brand. Like, if, if they're targeting this specific category of, you know, of kind of what appears to be the modern masculine male category, and I don't know, I'm neither masculine nor modern. But I think I'm, I'm yeah, uh, different times. Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, this is what I care about. It's an open goal, but we need to act now. It's not really, an, well, you've made the goal and taken a shot with that GQ statement. Um, okay, it's not a big market. There's a total addressable market potentially of 96 billion. Now, I don't know what that is. Like, male grooming market, I would expect to be bigger than 26 billion. Uh, so maybe that is what the 96 billion is. Okay, so as a VC now, the 26 doesn't interest me. The 96 should be bigger. Um, that should be the, the dominant number. Um, the 26 wouldn't interest me because my fund is too big uh, to be able to open up to opportunities where the market's only 26 billion. But that being said, that being said, it's the number one in a growing category they might be able to take more than what most VCs would consider to be 3 to 5% of the market if they win. Um, if they can take 10 or 15% of the market, then that 26 billion then makes sense. Um, but with the likes of the Dysons of the world, like, it's, it's, it's unlikely. It's unlikely. We've got momentum. Journalists write about us. 
Uh, pay down pressures, they mean fucking nothing. Customers rave, okay, from 450 plus reviews. How many have you sold? Growing wait list, why do you have 500 plus pre-order wait list when you've got 450 reviews? That needs some explanation, I'm still interested. We're world-class brand builders, okay, tell me more, tell me more. Co-founder and director, full-time, I don't mind about full-time. Some investors have an issue about full-time versus part-time. I don't have an issue with part-time. People need to pay the fucking rent, like just accept it. Founders should not be expected, and anyone, uh, investor, I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you now, investors, the ones that promote that toxic, disgusting, disgusting, in my opinion, um, kind of belief amongst founders that they get incredibly insecure, that they must quit their job to show that they're committed. It's like, no, you are in the luxurious position of being paid to take other people's money and put it into startups. These founders put not just their own money on the line, they put their livelihoods on the line, they put their families on the line, they put the roof over their head on their line. Do not make them like lose the very basic security that keeps their ability to make their company grow away from them just because you have this fucking outdated 2005 idea of what entrepreneurship is. <sighs> anyway, glad I said that. Um, don't care about full-time, part-time. Founded Supernova in 2019. Now, I don't know what Supernova is, so what I do is I look it up. Supernova, um, uh, Rachel Courtney. What is that? And I wouldn't normally do this, by the way, but because I'm interested in the deck, this is what I would do. Uh, a day with Supernova by Rachel Courtney, seven stars. She's apparently worth seven stars. Rachel Courtney, head of partnerships. Head of partnerships, Supernova. Okay, cool, whatever. Um, uh, don't know what it is, taking too long. Founded Supernova, but they founded it, it's got Channel 4 stuff, so that's fucking great. 15 years digital marketing, cool, O2, Apple, Samsung, good brands, fine. Extended team, yeah, just faces with names, means nothing to me. Market access, barber and grooming, uh, that, okay, 9.7 million TikTok followers, cool. That, ex mm, that actually raises a yellow flag. If there's 9.7 million TikTok followers to somebody who is a barber and grooming guru, they have a wait list of 500 plus and 450 reviews, those numbers don't add up to me all that much. Still taking really. We're revenue trading, here we go. Revenue generating profitable and ready to scale. Okay, then why are you only raising 600K? If you're trying to be a male grooming brand, not just a hairdryer, raise more fucking money. Raise more money. I don't care about where you distribute your money. I care about the milestones you get a hit. Um, six, I don't say runway, say milestones. God, these people need some coaching. Thank you, no, thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, as an angel investor, I'd love to take a meeting. As a VC, I'd love to take a meeting, so long as it fits my portfolio thesis. As a family office, I'd probably take a meeting. Uh, as a Dyson strategic investor, I'd probably take a meeting. This is great, this is great. Excellent, excellent.